representing uh, the Sonic Wonder, um, and with the Sonic Wonder, we wanted to audio augment the visitor experience to St. Andrews while walking along the streets. Um, and uh, we will first introduce the motivation for creating this application, and then we'll um, explain our concept and then how we created it, and then we'll finally present a, a demo prototype. So we were five people in our team from um, various backgrounds, like um, this one I wonder, and our goal um, was to support an immersive experience and to create a sense of exploration and also um, support serendipity. So, um, um, our motivation uh, was to focus on interactive exploration, but while walking, you know, not being guided by any visual aids, and a mix of uh, context awareness, so the, the uh, environment will react to your presence, and user interaction, because you will choose whether you want to interact with the audio being presented to you virtually or not. Um, and also we wanted to focus this application as a audio only, although there is a, we also support visuals if the visitor would want to um, interact with visuals. Uh, but mainly we wanted to look at an application that is in your pocket as you walk around, um, exploring the, uh, the, the streets of St. Andrews, um, and then just interact with whatever happens around you. So it's size free, so you can do other things hands, uh, if they're busy, you can use them, um, and it's uh, hands-free interaction. So your hands are always busy, but sorry, your hands are always free, but if they're busy, um, there's not a, there's not such an issue. And also, um, we wanted an immersive experience so that there were no obstacles between the user and so, so this is not what we want. <laughs> Looking down at the screen, not engaging with the environment. So we're trying to support active engagement, heads up, hands free, that kind of scenario. Of course, if people want to be able to drill down and look, find something slightly more deeper, I want to support that too. Um, and one of the key aspects is this ambient sense of what a place is like, what it, what it is like now, or how it had been historically. You can imagine a lot of different contexts that we might support. So in St. Andrews you might, maybe, maybe on the ambient audio of how St. Andrew was 600 years ago, or Edinburgh how it was last year's festival, something for that person already. Um, so, so the concept we came up with was, was this device that you can carry or you can put in your pocket, and as you move around, uh, various ambient audio will, which is geolocated audio, uh, will play to so get this experience, um, geolocated experience of what's, what's, what's on uh, in the place. And as you move nearer these, these places, the volume increases, giving you a sense of supporting where they are. And as you get really near to them, so as you walk around with a lot of interest, um, the phone starts vibrating, or the device starts vibrating to notify you in a hands free way. In a hands free way. Um, but there is information there if you choose to seek it, which you do just by tapping on the screen um, in, in the hand. Um, at the moment in our development, there's still tapping on the screen whilst in your pocket. In the future, it would be maybe detect the tap from, from microphones or something like that. Um, and then you get more information. Of course, if the user was not inter interested in the information, just wanted the experience, perhaps it would notify them less frequently of. of of the, the detailed information because it's clearly there in the So we have a little animation present, presenting this concept. <coughs> little guy walking along, nothing very exciting right now. Crosses the orange line, comes into range, this sound comes up, and he crosses this line, phone vibrates, presses the button, and gets information about St. Andrew's Church in this place. That's precisely the kind of Context we were, we were trying to support. We did, there's lots of data on the web, lots of geolocated data on the web. We weren't particularly interested in pulling that kind of data. We we're trying to support a very 
curated um, kind of context. Um, for St Andrews, for our demo, that's obviously that's based on information that we've got collected and collated. Spent some time in town trying to decide what, what were interesting features, what was in what was on the web, and what looked interesting. So this mixture of what the web and what various historical institutions say is interesting, and what as you walk along you see is interesting, as they're not necessarily the same thing. So a little bit of video of this exploration. This bit looks clearly very exciting. That goes on for a bit, but we'll skip it. We <laughs> 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 want to know about this place. Um, so we've got this. It's, it's an Android app. It works. I would say we're sort of beyond the free alpha. Um, obviously, it's hard coded to help, so um, that will probably get cut out. But um, um, it's not a great piece of um, software development, but it, but it works and suits the purpose we want to do here. Um, can you demo it here? We can demo it outside because the GPS doesn't work inside. We've got, we've got a fake St. Andrew's South Street set up outside, um, and it does also work in a real South Street. So, yeah, as the, I'll grab the people from the panel and we'll go down and we'll play it outside, and then we'll head into my room. And we, for everyone else, we've got a little bit of video. Uh, so this, is, this is our demo approach. This, is sort of, this was our pre-alpha. So you'll notice he's about to walk into the sounds. You can hear some, uh, some more scope. I'll show this one a little bit. Is it? These are not very ambient geolocated sounds. They're geolocated in there. It sounds strange like white noise and static. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's unpleasant. As we move this way, you can hear a mode of dark noise. Those aren't sounds you want to hear. Um, what you want to hear is much more like. Uh, that's yesterday about 10 p.m. So <laughs> still bright. <laughs> anyway, we'll hear the sound pretty soon. So you actually went to work, Thompson. So you couldn't hear it. You can hear that on this in here. But it's like Tweety birds, nothing wrong or something like that. The mathematical biologist is mainly remembered as the author of the 1970 book on growth in form an influential work of striking originality and elegant animals of science that have been recorded in program events and exhibitions at the yes. University of Dundee yes. and the University of St Andrews. Thank you. 
the, the, the base level of experience that you will get from is completely language independent. Because mm -hmm. uh, you'll be just listening to sounds from, from 600 years ago or uh, whatever last year in Edinburgh. Uh, yeah, and with the point of interest. Yeah, and from actually from our experience, we, we let a, a couple of people play around with it yesterday, and it seems that the most enjoyable aspect of it is not the extra information that you can drill down into, but really just walking around, listening to the sounds of the city, uh, which allows you to interest in things around, rather than following a set sort of scenario where you explore everything. And it's even quite a significant impact on the experience of a place. Yeah. So obviously we're, we're not removing the, the present audio was there, but we are, to, we are add, adding to it and it does seem to make quite a lot of uh, difference. And, and, I, and I think, you know, playing with volume, uh, as you're getting closer to some place and then the volume goes up, it basically gives you this really sense of, okay, something's happening, the, the way I'm you know, going now, so I should just look around, feel like it's it's really interesting, you should try it. Whenever I was using it, I had one earphone in, and certainly it too, but he could tell when he was getting closer, whereas I was only using one, and I couldn't, it's, I needed a visual indication to tell me what direction, but I think that's something that people would do, is only use one earphone, well, I do it quite often, or, you know, you don't want to block out everything else, so it's just something to think about as well, that um, we started, I started using the visual indicator, the GPS reading, to tell me whether it's going closer or not. So there's a small but indicator at the bottom that says you're this, this far away. That you might, like yeah. you could be supported visually if you couldn't tell by the audio or if you were using it like that, but you were able to tell what yeah. direction to go. Because, you know, you can actually say that, you know, okay, not in this side of the street, but the other side of the street, that there's something else, so maybe it's coming from there, and so you cross the street, and then the, the, the volume goes up and up, and then you finally get the vibrator and you get the additional content. Right. Since, we, yeah. since, we have, sorry, since we have only about a minute left, does anybody have any pressing questions? Mm -hmm. no, um, something else that was interesting that was brought up yesterday was can you deactivate the information when, once you activate it? And we didn't really um, like think about that at that stage. But when we try to it, it's actually quite nice that you can kind of wander around, but you're still hearing the information, that it doesn't suddenly cut you off if you accidentally go out of the range or something like that. But at the same time, if you, if you have listened to the whole of the section, while you stay within that vicinity, you don't get to listen to it again. So you sort of have this, oh, I've come across it, I've experienced it once, a bit ephemeral, but then if you go far enough away and come back, you can listen to it again. So it's sort of battle, balancing the ephemerality, which is quite nice, with the fact that maybe I found something nice and I want to go find my, find my, my, my partner or my, or my friend and bring them back and go, this, this, this is great, because obviously you want to try and support them. In terms of the content, I think it will need a bit more work. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you very much.